What's up, guys? Today's topic is three things that you can do to increase the effectiveness of your workouts and exercise to build muscle and strength. There's a lot of different ways. There's a lot of different things and techniques you can do to, to do this. We're talking about building a foundation of strength so that you can then grow uh, size, flexibility, and work, work a bunch of different areas, but you need to have a base of strength to control movement, have stability, and be safe when you are executing things. Three things. One, you probably need to drop the reps and increase the weight that you're using. A lot of times we get caught up in hearing about these bodybuilders that are huge. They're doing sets of 15, 18, 20 reps or whatever. That's not you, right? What you need in most cases for the the person I'm probably talking to is a foundation of strength. You need that starting level of functional strength and you're going to get that in ranges anywhere from three to eight reps, okay? That is, you know, a few sets of really heavy at three to five reps a piece at a set of moderate weight at six to eight reps a piece. Somewhere in those ranges is where you should be working. Heavy, challenging sets of three or five. Heavy, challenging sets of six to eight. That is going to help you get stronger. That is going to give you greater control. And because you're doing less reps, it's also going to help you save some of that wear and tear on your body. You're not doing so much volume and so many reps over and over and over again. You're not doing hundreds of reps every every workout, okay? The second thing that you can do is slow down. The faster you move, the less control you have, the more chance you have of getting hurt, the less aware you are of what you're working in your body. If you're doing an exercise, you need to be aware and have control of the muscles being used. When you go fast and you get let momentum take over, you no longer have control. You should be able to own the movement on every single rep. So slow it down. When you slow it down, that mind-body connection is, is able to be uh, and it activated and you can tell where things are happening and have greater control of understanding if that is the movement you need to be doing. Are you doing it properly? If you're doing curls and you're feeling it in your shoulders, something's not right. When you go fast, you don't know that. Sure, you'll get a pump to a point, but are you really working your biceps as as much as possible? As if you slow down and isolate and look at and think about, use your bicep, use your bicep, use your bicep. Don't let your shoulders take over, right? Sit back, keep everything tight, focus on the bicep. When you do that, the, the gains are incredible mind-body connection. The third thing you can do is make sure that you're working with weight safely as much as possible in full ranges of motion. There are maybe 1% of people that are listening to this that, that, that can worry about half reps and need to worry about, about doing half reps or, or things like that, right? The average person, the normal person who's just trying to get safe, uh, get, get healthy, be safe, be able to do physical activity for a long period of time. That's one of the keys when we talk about fitness and exercise. You need to be able to do it for a long time, years and years and years. We don't want you getting hurt. We don't want you wearing things out. You need to work in full ranges of motion. It keeps your mobility and flexibility and stability and control at a high level. It allows you to move your body in ways that are functional and, and will apply and transfer to things in your regular life, okay? So please, please, please work in full ranges of motion. When you're doing pull-ups, drop all the way down. When you pull up, pull all the way up so that bar is as far under your chin as possible. That's just an example. Do things as much as possible in full extension and full flexion, okay? Three things. Increase the weight, drop the reps, slow down, use full ranges of motion. You start doing those three things consistently, you're going to notice that your workouts feel better. You feel like you're getting more out of your workouts. You're going to start seeing more results from your workouts and you're going to feel like you can do more because now your body is more efficient at moving, right? That's what it's all about.